We see a runner or a cyclist, they will run after and they'll ignore me calling their name and then I panic. OK, wow. That is so dangerous. What gave you the idea of the split lead? Um, because when I have other dogs, I used to have them on split lead and run with them and it was easier to control. Right. I'm not a fan and the reason is, is because these dogs are nervy anyway, but they really are like where one goes, the other has to go Very and they're like, yeah. ah, it's so uncomfortable to watch them. Hey. When? What I saw was just an accident waiting to happen. It's not so much that they are stimulated by the chase, but startled. If you want your dogs to run off the lead, mm -hmm. A, you take them to a place where there aren't joggers and cyclists, and B, you only do it with one dog at a time. I bore you to this lovely enclosed field that's somewhere safe where we can practice recall. To start with, Victoria wants to see how good Kylo's recall already is. Now, as he's going towards there, call him back. Kylo! Yep! Yeah, little pickle. Good, very nice. Sit. Very nice. Kylo, what's this? Sit. Good boy. Do you see how when you were going like this and fussing with him, he was going like this? Yeah. What's he saying when he does that? Don't put me on the lead yet, Mum. Well, no, but don't <laughs> fuss me like that. Don't touch me on the head. Yes. Don't. Just, I don't want that. Fine, you can give me some food. Great, I'll come back. But don't fuss me, Mother. Now, I know you've got a foundational recall, but there are some other things that I want to add. I'm going to give you three extra things to do. First of all, I call it the surprise party. Each time they come back to you, they never know what they're going to get. OK. The second is they're going to come back to you, you're going to put them on the lead, then you're going to take the lead off and let them go again. And then the third one, you actually teach the dog to put their own head on your hand so that you can take their collar. OK. It's time for Sue to put it into practice, starting with the surprise party. That's it. Go. <whistles> Treat party, search party, on the ground. Boom, Good throw boy. it all. Good boy. Whoa, it's there. Good yes, boy. this is the best thing ever. Good boy. I want to fuss him. <laughs> Don't fuss him. <laughs> He does not need fussing right now. So? Good. Second thing, get him to come to you. Good boy, give him a treat, attach the lead. Take the lead off, let him go again. Right. There you go, baby. All right. Nice. <gasps> come to him, good. Good boy. Lovely. Good boy. Very good. Good boy. Great. Tell him, good boy. Good boy. Lean down again. Take off that lead. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Wonderful. Yes, good boy. Good Look boy. at that. He was so good. The reason why I'm getting him to come to you, put on the lead, and then you take it off again is because he never knows. Oh, well, when I come to Mum, she puts the lead on, but putting the lead on doesn't necessarily mean the end of my fun. Because, look, she takes it off and lets me go again. OK. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.